Hi everyone. So this demonstration is going to show how to make a page with Gracecard. So we're going to start by going to my site and pages and then up here we can click this new page button. So first we're going to give the page a name uh, for the uh, purpose of this demonstration we'll just call it test page. Um, this page name is really just the internal name that you would use to keep you know kind of organize and keep track of the page. Uh, the SEO title and SEO description, these are the, um, the actual like public facing title and description that you would see like in the browser or that Google would see. So you want to make sure that you put something, you know, that's uh, going to help you with your search engine optimization in these fields. But we're just going to leave those blank for now. Okay, so right off the bat, you'll see that this is pretty simple on um, this top menu bar here has our navigation so we can click, um, you know, go back to the, uh, the pages index. Um, here we can see some basic buttons for the different actions we can perform. Um, under here we have a few more hidden away. You can visit the page or duplicate or delete it. Um, um, so, so right now this page has no content. Um, so to get started and add our first piece of content, we'll just click this content button. So this brings up what's called the content block library. So each of these are different content blocks and content blocks are just predefined elements on a page that are pre-styled um, that make it really easy for you to build your page without having to know really how to do any kind of um, coding or uh, design on websites. Um, they're each tailored to address certain uh, needs. So you see here, you have like a photo grid, um, like a banner for like an introduction to a page, you got some basic text, um, a button, uh, there's various things just to help you build your page out quickly. So to add one of these, all you do is just um, drag it and drop it over here. As you can see right away, it adds it to our page and it's pre-filled with some content and a background image. Um, so this banner widget here is a really pretty and nice uh, element just to kind of introduce a page. Um, so over here on this side is our, our, in our sidebar. This is where we'll do most of our work. Um, this sidebar will change depending on what we're working on at the time. Um, over here, this is our live preview. So if we want to make some changes, all we do then is we just toggle these different um, categories basically of this uh, banner block. So you can see we're editing this banner. If we click this button here, we go back. This view right here, this is our page layout. Um, so this right here represents a content block. Um, we can do some you know, different actions on it here. We can duplicate it, edit it, or delete it. Or we can just click here to edit it. You can also click over here um, to edit a content block as well. So let's make some changes to this. So uh, it's actually looking pretty good right now by default, but let's say we want to add, uh, let's just say we want to change some of the text here. So we can click on heading text. Let's see it says from our farm to your family's table. And we can just change that to, you know, doorstep, for example. Oops, can't spell that right. I don't know. It changes in real time. Now, as you can see, you know, this doesn't look exactly as good as it did before, but we can adjust that. We can change the heading width. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Um, so as you can see, as you make changes, they appear in real time, which is super handy. You have a lot of options for the different adjustments you can make. Um, we can change the text color, for example. Of course, that's not a very good color, so let's change that back. Um, yeah, so you have a variety of different... Uh, oh, sorry, I don't like that color either. Let's make that white again. There we go. There we go. That looks good. So you have a variety of different things you can change. Really, you just got to poke around. Each content block is different. It's going to have different settings um, you can choose from. Here we can change the background image. We can add a background color to add a nice overlay to it if we wanted. We can change the opacity. Make that text pop out a little bit more. I actually kind of like the way it looked before, so let's just make that really light. I nah, don't like that either. Let's just get rid of it. There we go. Uh, you can change the background position. So I'm not going to go over a lot of details on this individual content block because there's actually quite a bit here. Um, but that's basically uh, kind of an overview of how to add a banner content block. Now, if we're done, we just click the Done button. Um, something to note, too, as we made these changes, they all saved in real time, so you don't have to like constantly be hitting a Save button each time. It should just you know update as you're working. 
So now let's add another content block. Let's do a how it works content block. This is one of my favorites. So as you can see here, we just drag it and drop it again. We can also control now the position that it'll appear on the page. So let's make this appear above the banner. So there you go. As you can see, the banner's below, the content, this how it works block is now above. Um, this is another nice content block because it gives you a really simple one, two, three step of your ordering process. Um, this is really handy to describe to your customers just what they, some actionable steps of how they can work through your, um, your website and start ordering. So again, we can go through here and we can make any changes we want. Um, you know, we have this call to action button, for example. We can just say, you know, register now if we wanted, um, whatever you want, a lot of options. Um, let's go back to here. Most of these content blocks also let you um, adjust things like the background color. So if you wanted to, uh, maybe, of course, that doesn't look very good, but um, you get the idea. You can play around with this as much as you want and uh, make it look the way you like. So. Um, if we want to adjust in the sort order, we can do that from here. We just drag and drop these. So this is really handy because this lets you uh, really easily just control the layout of your page without having to mess with um, complicated like text editors or having to know HTML. It makes it super easy um, to make really cool looking pages really quickly. Um, so let's see, that's kind of the basics of adding blocks and um, and rearranging them. Uh, we can also really easily duplicate a block. Let's say we like the way that looks, but we want to make some slight changes and um, you know put it on a different part of the page. We can do that really easily. So what else is there? Because um, so under settings, uh, you know, here again we can just change the page title if we need, add a description. Um, so this section here, the page slug, this is. Uh, this is how you change the page URL. Now, usually you probably wouldn't need to change this, but if you ever needed to change the URL of the page, you can change it here. Just make sure that any links you have out there in the web uh, get updated accordingly so that it doesn't um, return a, you know, a not found error. Um, meta tags and header scripts. This is a little more advanced, but this, if you ever uh, wanted to add, let's say, some uh, custom meta tags for SEO, like uh, Facebook Open Graph, for example. You could put that here. Um, this is like, as you type it, um, this will just appear inside the, the head tag. So if you if you understand what that means, like if you've ever messed with, um, you know, HTML a little bit, just pretty much just copy and paste uh, stuff into here, and it'll appear on the on the page inside the head tag. And it's really handy to really extend the, the functionality of a page. Um, and the body scripts is similar. It's just at the bottom of the page. So that's the very end um, of the body tag. So that, that's great for putting like um, JavaScripts for say like third party um, plugins and stuff that you might be using. Um, let's see what else is there. Let's see, let's save these settings. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's really simple and clean. Uh, it makes it working with pages super easy and fast. Um, you can go visit the page if you'd like, and you can see it as your customers would see it, which you find is actually really pretty much identical um, to how you're seeing it here. I mean, the only difference is you can't really interact with it here. So if you click on one of these, for example, like if I, I couldn't actually click this button, it would just open up the, uh, the sidebar and let me start editing that content block. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, just feel, feel free to email us. Um, on our on, at gracecart.com and we'll be happy to uh, get in touch with you. So have a great day.